Hi, my name is Wendy Ululi and I'm the founder of Intentional Parents Academy. I love, love to work with parents. In fact, I'd say that that's my super, super power if there's anything like that. Hello everyone, my name is Ulua Tui Osage Opo. I am the director of Just Live Lights Academy and the founder of the Discipleship Academy. I believe that God has called me to raise children, to be Christ-centered and to live to their best potential in the world and affect your generation. My name is Auntie Eti Maomi. I'm the founder of the Responsible Teens Academy, a teen mentor and certified counselor, also known as Mama Purity. My name is Triumph Adekule. I'm the convener of Tia and the Boys. I'm an image consultant and I'm a parent. Uh, my name is Idris Adekule. Uh, this is my amiable wife. Uh, I'm an auditor. I'm a risk manager. And I'm also a parent of uh, three kids. Uh, I'm, much I'm so much interested in uh, parenting because it has become a serious uh, issue. Hello everyone, my name is Joy Eshimokai. I'm the founder of House of Gladness. I'm a banker, I'm an author, I'm a life coach. Am I supposed to say I'm coach when this friend? <laughs> And I'm the official MC of the Intentional Parents Academy. My name is Chedozie Eze and I am a teens coach, author and founder of Teen Success Academy. I'm also the convener of 360 Success Bootcamp themed Thrive, a bootcamp where we raise teenagers. My name is Ebuka Ede. I'm the founder of Save the Boys Initiative and the convener of Boys Leadership Academy. I'm a boys coach. Oh yes, the king of boys. I'm passionate about raising boys that will thrive. Right? Into raising boys that will make the global impact that we desire to see in our world today. We mentor, equip, and empower boys to live positive and productive lives. And we're in this space doing great things. Hello everyone, um, welcome. My name is Mary Beth Chima. I am the founder of the Parenting Through Mentorship Academy and Community. I am a parent coach, an educator, and an author. My name is Kule Ologe, marriage counselor and founder of the Marriage Seal Academy. Wendy Ologe is my wife, um, obviously. <laughs> Um, wife for over 13 years, mother of my children, and personal coach. Yeah, I need to add that part. Whoa, this coach Wendy to me. I call her prof. Coach Wendy is my mentor, my teacher, my, um, my shepherd, <laughs> let me use that word. And you know, one of those people that when you go left, she just teases your head back small. So she's everything to me. And she's my parenting touch light, if I'm allowed to use that word. <laughs> the trend is an inspiration. Uh, she's uh, someone that inspires. You know, she's someone that uh, when it comes to parenting, you know, look up to. Her trendy. She's my mentor and my coach. I met her last year, and I must say it has been an amazing journey. My life has been transformed. My belief system has been transformed. And uh, one thing about Coach Wendy is she is very value-centered. She thrives on principles and structures. You cannot have a relationship with her and not put your life in order. In terms of parenting also, she's been able to help um, with knowledge, you understand, knowledge on my parenting journey. So I must say it's been an amazing, amazing relationship. But Wendy is my friend and coach. She plays these two roles awesomely. She's a committed friend, very loyal and um, always ready to see you become better. She's a coach also because um, she would stop at nothing to ensure that you are what you're supposed to be as a parent. Mother in Israel, Mama Cathedral, my mentor, my fire. Anytime I, uh, I feel like, you know, just sleeping, I'll just tell myself, ah, 
what we could maybe be doing now. She's somebody that inspires and motivates me in this work. People just see how far I've gone and they're like, how did you get here in a short time? I say, a, king cannot, a, 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 a lion cannot give birth to a dog now. I say, look at the lion that gave birth to me and see the fire. Coach Wendy is many things. So Coach Wendy is my mentor, like, when you, when you, I mean, the first time that word, I used that word was actually Coach Wendy. She's also my coach and that person that has told me the truth more than, I mean, in recent times, that she's like that person that will tell you the truth with all sincerity. Yes, that's what Coach Wendy is. Coach Wendy is plenty things. Coach Wendy is Coach Wendy. Coach Wendy is my coach, mentor, advice so someone i regard lately as an elder sister you know that person that can call you and bring you and say hey come here come here come <laughs> so that's who coach wendy is to me and of course you know that um, i hold her in high esteem coach wendy is my friend she's my coach she's my mentor she's my sister she's an inspiration she's the reason why i'm here today sincerely So I usually like to say that even before I met parents, I have certain intention of parenting. So a lot of people think that, oh, some of the things that, you know, we do, we do them because parents, we meet parents, we need to show them. No, we started doing it and you came to meet us doing it. <laughs> One of the reasons why I started the Intentional Parents Academy was my, my own experiences as a parent. I got the opportunity to become a parent to a teenager when I just started parenting and you know that showed me the flaws that showed me the things I didn't know how to do so sort of fighting or arguing I knew that there was a better way so I went on a journey to educate myself I, I went on a journey to do courses to find ways and you know what I started to do magic and I found out that knowledge was everything about parenting and after a while people around me would say why do you want to keep this to yourself why don't you want to teach the world what it is that you know i see your children there's just something about the way you parent and boom somewhere somehow um, i got the inspiration by god to actually begin to run an academy for parents and today we run one of the biggest academies in africa i like to call it the parenting harvard so yes that's how the Intentional Parents Academy started. Yeah, interestingly enough, when it comes to parenting, um, when we first got married, I was the one who first started teaching my wife parenting. And um, along the line, she decided to go and study more. And so she did a lot of studies, did a lot of reading of books, um, did a lot of courses, and eventually emerged as a parent coach. So right now, I'm under her tutelage, and truly, I, I love learning. And anybody who has the knowledge that I need, I will humble myself and learn from the person. And so I learn from her every day. I attend her courses, um, I attend the Inner Circle program, I'm always a part of all the teachings and everything. So yes, it's um, it's been interesting. Ah, uh, inner circle uh, is better experience than explained <laughs> because it's just. I don't know how to call it. I see Inaseku as a city without words. It's a city that has everything you need on this journey. Because when you remove parenting and this learning, what else do you want to, what, there's, you can achieve the success you need. Inaseku is that place, I, I always call it a, the quarry site, where we are made, where we are sharpened. As in, there, 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 there are chisels, there are hammers that are just sharpening you, chiseling out everything that is unwanted to make you fitter, to be that parent that will build your child to, to wholeness. I joined the Inner Circle program in December, uh, when I, after I met Coach Wendy. And I remember when she had Talk to me about the Inner Circle program. My son is 17. I was like, 
I mean, what else? What am I going to learn? I mean, what else is there to learn? But I must say, when I joined the Inner Circle program, it's an amazing accountability system. And because uh, so many times, the problem is not with what we know. The problem is in the actions, actually being consistent with what we know. So that's really helped me. I've been in the Inner Circle for two years. But I've actually been um, tutored by Wendy for about four, five years now, yeah, 2016. As a matter of fact, my daughter graduated on Friday, on Saturday. And when I sat there in that hall, everything that came to me was Coach Wendy because it was because of that my daughter that I went to look for Coach Wendy. And being in the inner circle, reassures me every day that i'm in the right path the things we do it has given me a, it has made it very easy for me or us to be able to connect with the children with the tools we are given every day i would never have even imagined those things when 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 they post those things, i'm like where did they get this from so it's been a journey in a circle if you're not in inner circle me i will hold you by the balls you know <laughs> that's just by the side <laughs> the the inner circle is uh the parenting community uh it's a uh, it's a huge huge parenting community Which and uh, it's been uh a great pleasure and opportunity to be part of that community uh it's a community that that has been uh on the prize you know it's a community that needs to uh, get more into the world uh come to learning ah, a lot has been learned uh Personally, I've learned so much from the community and also even as, as a father, you know, uh, as an husband, you know, uh, even as a better, because I've been a better person even to, even in my office, you know, and even to people I relate with. The inner circle for me is that, is that um, program that fills all the gaps for me in my parenting. So as a parent coach, it's very easy for you to, you know, go about trying to you know help other people with their challenges and sometimes you forget that you have your own challenges too so the inner circle for me is that total filler you know is is a system that reminds me that you know there's so much to be done and thank god for the inner circle i am able to create that not balance i'm able to fill all the space you know that I ordinarily would have left my parenting. So it's an awesome, awesome, awesome program and it's been a great experience for me. I think I'm one of the first Yadas. Like
many fools that proves. You can't see the kind of results <laughs> and proves we have at the inner circle and tell yourself you want to jump out. Sometimes if you would just compile the results into a book, just the testimonies alone. If people think inner circle is people who don't know what to do. No, it's a place for kings. It's a place you come there and see coaches of coaches. You come there and see fathers and grandfathers and grandmothers. It's not a place for people who don't just know what to do. It's for people who are intentional about their journey. And I, like I said, I can never get I can never get tired of hearing Coach Wendy. And he, I don't want to aspire on time. So if I'm not learning, how am I going to continue in this work that I'm doing? So if I'm not inspired, then I'm going to aspire. And I don't want to aspire. Coach Wendy's relationship with us is amazing. You see her genuinely interested in your assignment, in your work. She does this through referrals. She does this through recommendations on, you know, other trainings. She's constantly looking for how every one of us stays on our lane and then dominates that space. She always says to us that, look, the, the work is a lot. We don't even need to bump into each other. We can stay where we are, do what we have been called to do, and still become stars and still shine. She's amazing at putting everybody together. Coach Wendy is that um, coach or that person that, you know, think of the person that has the umbrella that takes everybody in. I don't know of another person that wants the good of everyone at the same time. She's constantly telling you what you need to, you know, what you need to focus on. She's constantly interested in your success and sometimes you think it's just when it comes to work. No, it's not just work. Somehow she manages to connect with you, even with your family, your children and all that. So she is a unifier. That's, I mean, that in one word. Coach Wendy is rightly called the parenting bishop. You know what the bishop does now? He just gathers all the other men of God <laughs> in the cathedral. And so she has she has an awesome relationship. She's um, she is a people person. She has this capacity to magnet different kinds of persons and uh, work with them and their different capacity. She's an activator. She empowers people and activates them to succeed on their journey. And that's what she does with a whole um, other coaches that works with her in the space. Coach Wendy is just selfless. She's a giver. I believe so much in coach because I can see her sincerity. When coach calls you, you're gisting, right? You know, having fun and everything. And then something comes up that has to do with your child. She just switches. You can see that she's not doing this. She's not faking it out there. She, she, knows, she knows that your children turning out right is a plus for her. She usually would tell us as her friends that, if your children turn out badly, people are going to come for me. <laughs> so she's committed to ensuring that she's your friend, yet she's ensuring that your children, her children, turn out well. I love Coach so much because people don't know this part of her. She's very accountable. Yeah, there are a lot of things that are, as her friends and sisters, we can call her to say, Coach, check this. Coach, check that. And she's very humble. Trust me, she would obey. She would comply. I mean, when somebody just leaves everything she says, she's everything she says, the, the strategies she talks about, she practices them, the principles, she leaves them. I mean, when somebody is what she says, personalized, how can you not believe? She's my friend. I believe in her. I see her leave everything she does. She says, I see her do everything she asks everyone to do. I see her model it. I see her raise her kids exactly the same way she teaches us to. 
I mean, who wouldn't believe in someone that lives what she preaches? Hey, Mama Cathedral. <laughs> That one is so funny. Mama Cathedral, the VC. Uh, which other one now? Uh, Mama Cathedral, Coach Wendy, the VC. Is there anyone I've left out now? Hmm. I'm also giving her the principle of parenting Harvard. <laughs> because she's just, she's just awesome. Ah, Mama Cathedral, mother in Israel. The parenting bishop, the people are still saying in Africa, is the world bishop, world, world best coach. So sometime in 2018, after the TIP Academy was launched as an academy officially, I, I thought of what it is that I can do for parents to make, you know, parents begin to learn. I talk of, thought of convening a free online conference. You know, in that time in 2018, it wasn't popular to convene a conference online. It's not like now where everybody is actually streaming live for conferences. And, you know, I got the inspiration to have people just come teach people in our community. And we did that, starting with my mentor, Taiwa Kinlami, and um, Tao, Tao and your team, and Z.O.B. These were just the three people who were at the TIP annual conference in 2018, and it was so impactful. I don't think anything had happened like that in the parenting space before. It was one of the best things that happened to many parents. And I thought this can be done in a larger scale as we go yearly. In 2019, we came up with having 20 coaches from all over all the world. And in 2020, we had 28. By the time we were going to 2021, who we were streaming live with 30 coaches from all over the world. And somehow I got in contact with, you know, quite a lot of, a number of parent coaches all over the world because I was privileged to have spoken on global fronts, you know, speaking at the um, Facebook Parenting um, Summit in 2019, being, you know, in the, in the in place of global parenting systems, teaching in, in a parenting forum for the Pakistanis. And it gave me access to quite a, a number of people. And today we have one of the biggest parenting conference ever that runs online. And we're able to reach parents, thousands of them. This year alone, we have over a thousand parents who are going to be watching streaming live and, and that's something to really be grateful for. So the Inner Circle program is what, what I call the Harvard of parenting. So I was sitting down in a church one of those days that my pastor was preaching, it was something that was very unconnected to what I heard. And I heard, you know, a voice say to me, parenting is not about tips and hacks. I need you to create a system that actually takes parents to a pro through a process. Because there's no tip here and there that parents are going to get that's really going to help their parenting. That same day, I came back and I called one of my accountability partners Coach Etima, and I said, this is what I heard, and I need to move on it. I don't even have clarity of what it is and where, I don't know what I should be doing. But I've long, you know, learned on my journey to trust God, to be able to actually show me a clearer picture as I move. And as I moved on, you know, to start the Inner Circle program, it was as if everything was opened up to me. And every year, I have been privileged for, by, you know, by God to show me exactly what it is that I need to teach parents. You know, at the beginning of the year, my team and I, uh, you know, sit down to create a curriculum. Sometimes those curriculums, I'm wondering, where did you learn these things from? And I like to also say that, you know, it, it, it struck me when I heard my a, a friend, a mentor, um, Pastor Siri, say to me, some things are taught, some things are caught. When do you cut some of the things that you teach? And that is the truth. So the Inner Circle program is one of those things that I cut. And that's why the things that we teach, like I always say, it's not on Google. You can't find it. It's not, it's not something that you can say, oh, I heard it somewhere and I, I want to just Google it and just learn it. 
it's, it's, it's not on Google. It's not that. That's why it's called the Harvard of Parenting. The Inner Circle Program is one of the best things that have actually happened to many families, and I'm grateful to God for it. Also, welcome to the TIP Conference, the TIP Parenting Conference 2022. Two, and I wish that every parent be a part of this. It's an international conference. We have so many speakers, so much to give, so much to take. To the so, fifth of its kind, you cannot afford to miss this session. You miss, you lose. Get your friends, get your family, everybody, get on board. Parents, parents to be join us at this fifth edition my advice to you is get a new jota and i'm not joking a big one and don't miss a single session because if you blink you will lose and thank you so much for joining us for the tip annual conference 2022 the parenting advantage i thought of the parenting advantage when i started reminiscing on how i grew up a few days ago i started to talk to someone and i said I was inspired by people like Flora Wampa and I thought of it. I had access to these books just because my parents paid attention. So I had these books available for me to actually have access to. And every time I think about it, I actually had a parenting advantage. The question will be, what will you be to your child? An advantage or a disadvantage? This year's annual conference has been put together to show you how you can become an advantage to your child with 32 coaches from all over the world i don't like to say that this conference is free i like to say to you that this conference has come at a price but there are people who have paid the price people who have taken the burden of what you should have paid and i want you to be grateful for the gift of the tip conference welcome and congratulations to you all